We got a new helicopter, new physics, and new on ground additions. It's time to open up the brand new PTFS update, so I'm Mr. Bolsman, and let's get started with the Sikorsky S96. So if you go ahead, go over to the aircraft spawner, let's go ahead and go to helicopters, and there's the new kit on the block. There are two rotors, a large one at the top and a small tail rotor at the back, when you give the carriage, more on that later, and an animated door up front. It also has one of my favorite cockpit oranges ever done. Like, look at those rudder pedals. Now along with the white variant, there are six liberties to choose from. We have the Bristown, which resembles the in real life heli airline, Bristow, with a blue top and a small red stripe on the bottom, and just for good measure, the Bristow style logo slapped on the side. Then, the Coast Guard variant that mimics the exact livery on the MH-60 Jayhawk. There's added details like the PTFS Coast Guard undergear carriage, Coast Guard rescue on the rear and bottom, and this rather striking logo of the PTFS Coast Guard. As per usual, there's a finch and lights to do work, along with a CCTV type camera which is there for only for display. Inside is a custom cabin with a stretcher along with an animated rear door. And yes, this is a part of the Coast Guard Game Pass. If you want to fly classy, there's the executive dark blue skin. Again, inside is a private space with facing seats in the front and a couch. Next is the H-92 Superhawk, with his livery owned to the Royal Canadian Air Force with the Canada logo font and maple leaf. On our custom interior with seating on the side and this cool computer screen behind the cockpit. It also has the rear door animation as well. And finally, Marine One, the official helicopter transport for the US President. With a primarily dark green and white hits, there are several emblems and straight up words to show who it truly owns to. To find this, however, you must have the Air Force One, now presidential air aircraft game pass. Moving on, if we go ahead and press the key bind Q, we can see that we can now taxi our helicopter, which is a brand new feature. This is also the case for the Chinook and the U-860. Also, the gear went up on the Sikorsky S96, so cool I guess. Now I wanted to show you a comparison. Here's a helicopter going forwards prior to the update, and you can see the heli having to tilt extremely forward to move into that direction. Now, here's the updated version, and it takes so much less input to go forward. Also, when I try to hover, it's also a lot smoother than the previous version. The physics of the helicopters have been a huge eye raiser among the community, and I'm really happy to see the devs have updated it. Alright, enough of the helicopters, and let's go ahead and look at these hangars over here. So from the international airports to the Coast Guard bases, if we go ahead and press this button right over here, Look at that. That animation is crisp, clean, whatever you want to describe it. So if you want to hide your very special walrus friend, just put him in, press the button, and there you go. And because it's part of the changelog, runway whiffs were increased and helicopter seating was updated so the pilot sits on the right side. Phew, there's the PTFS update covered. I hope you enjoyed the recap and have fun trying the brand new features. If you did, please see subscribe if you're new. But yeah, I'm Mr. Balls fan, and as always, take flight. See ya!